Ya. testimony of what the Lord have done for you. Amen. At this time, there's a few of us, so everyone should have something to say. Amen. Amen. Well, I'd like to thank the Lord for being here. Amen. Amen. All, right. God, all the
And I just ask each and every one of you, my praise and thanks unto God. Amen. 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 Uh-huh. 
I'm landing on the scripture mm -hmm. of Numbers 14 and 9, which says, and I'm just taking a piece of it. Mm -hmm. The scripture says, and the Lord yeah, uh -huh. is yeah. with us. All right. I'm going to say it again. Yeah. And uh -huh. the Lord yeah. is, is with us. All right. This is not the first time that God has said that, preacher. Mm -hmm. This is not the first time that he told the children of Israel right. that he would be with them, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I'm coming from Numbers. It is the fourth book of the Bible. It is the fourth book of the vision of the law, which is also called the Torah in the Hebrew yeah. and also called the Pentateuch in the Greek. Right. It is the fourth book in the category yeah. of preparation, yeah. which means God is preparing his man back to himself. All Amen. Right. And here we see that God is preparing mm -hmm. to bring his people into the promised land. Yeah. Amen. It is the author is Moses. It was written in 1450 to 1410 uh -huh. B.C. in the Sinai Desert. Yes. The name comes from the two sentences that was taken. Right. But it also means Babida, All right. which means the desert. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, it records the conclusion mm -hmm. of the experiences of the Sinai Desert and the years of of the wandering. All right. Amen. In our text, we find Moses, mm -hmm. the leader, uh -huh. the priest, yeah. the pastor, uh -huh. the shepherd, instructing the leaders of Israel, yeah. one from each tribe, mm -hmm. to go into the promised land. Uh -huh. And look, I want you to bring me back some information. Mm. I want you to bring me back specific yes, information. Yeah. I want to know if the city has walls. I want to know what the people look like. I, I, I want to know or do they have fortified cities, etc., etc. I need specific information yeah. from you. Right. I also need you to go in a specific yeah. Direction. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so, the spies go into the land. Uh -huh. And they spy it out. Yeah. They look at all that is being done and come back after 40 days. Uh -huh. Somebody say 40. 40. Somebody say 40. 40. 40 means what? I'm going to tell you, deliverance. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. That's what it means. They stayed 40 days. All right. And they were supposed to come back with a word of deliverance. Yeah, yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But instead of coming back with a word of deliverance, Sister Angie, 10 of them came back with a bad report. Yeah. And their report infected the entire tribe. Each and every one of them. Their report. Hallelujah. Now, I said I wanted to talk to you about how these folks had an eye infection that caused them to have an eye infection. See, just before we get to this part, there was a problem in the leadership, Bishop. Come on now. They didn't agree with what Moses had done. He had married a, a woman from outside of the tribe of Israel. Uh -huh. and, and they was upset yeah. with him. And so they felt like, you know, who is Moses anyway? Uh -huh. You know, because we don't agree with what he's talking about right now. Uh -huh. Who is Moses anyway? I hear from God too. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, see, y'all don't want to talk to me. Because I know I'm going down the road people don't like to go down. Well, how many times do we not agree with what the leader is doing? Yeah, come on. And he says, the Lord has directed me for this ministry to go left. Uh -huh. 
And we say, the Lord can possibly have told you that because I don't agree with that. And so I know that the Lord talks to me too. And he didn't tell me that. Hallelujah. Well, that's what happened here. That's what happened in this text. You know what I'm saying? But in this time, God was present with them. Yeah. I don't mean like the way he's present with us. Uh -huh. I mean, he was present. All right. By day, he was a cloud. Mm -hmm. And by night, he was a pillar of fire. Yeah. So the Lord said, you don't mind me saying it in my own words, do you? He was like, uh, listen here. Come here, Miriam and Aaron mm -hmm. and Moses. Can y'all uh -huh. meet me at my house? Uh -huh. I want to have a conversation with you. They come to the house. And the Lord is angry because of what they did. And he smites Miriam yeah. with leprosy. Yes, Moses pleads on her behalf. Yes. But God still says for seven days, you got to be outside of the camp. Right. What, what I'm saying is, it, before they got to this point, there was already some trouble in the camp. Yeah. You don't say them things unless you're jealous of the leader. All right. You don't say them things unless you got an issue of arrogance and pride. Yeah. Contaminants. Mm -hmm. Contaminants mm -hmm. in your host. Uh huh. I think. So. I think. <laughs> so here we are. I want to talk about these people. Uh huh. I want to talk about these people because. God has promised them a land that's flowing with milk All right. and honey. Yeah, my Lord. He promised not only them, but every predecessor yeah. before yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. They are standing yeah. at the edge of their promise. Uh -huh. At the edge my Lord. of their promise. And God has shown them some things, Bishop. Yes. He has parted the Red Sea. Yeah, yeah. He has swallowed their enemies so that they will never come on now. Come after them yeah. again. He took them to the other side. Yeah. He has shown them how he will provide for them by dropping manna uh -huh. from heaven. Yeah. They wore sandals that never wore out uh -huh. and clothes that never rotted. Yeah. They did not go home. They have seen the manifestation Say that now. of God's power up close and personal. Yeah. But here they are. Uh huh. <laughs> at the edge. Come on now. The tip. Mm. The door. Yeah. Of their promise. And because they are a murmuring and complaining people. Mm -hmm. Somebody say contamination. Contamination. Foreign body. Mm. In your host. All right. Complaining. Yes. And murmuring. Yes. Yes. I, I don't want this manner mm -hmm. that you gave me. Say that. I, I liked it better when I was in bondage All in right. Egypt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I want this. Mm -hmm. When you complain and murmur, what you're saying to God is, I don't appreciate the blessing that you gave me. I'm not thankful yeah. for it. Right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So they go into this land. I digress. If they go into this land. And what they see are giants. Uh -huh. mm. They call them the descendants of Anak. Mm. And the descendants of Anak mm. are related to the Amalekites. Mm. And the Amalekites are descendants of what's called the Nephilim. All right, all right. Okay, these are giant yeah. people. And, all right. You know, some theologians believe that the Nephilim is a marriage the children of a union between man and spirit. Uh -huh. Okay? But 
here they are looking at these people and contaminants and foreign bodies started getting in their eyes. All right. Contaminants were in their soul, yeah. Sister Angie, yeah. because they saw the Nephilims, the, the descendants of Anak, right. and they said, oh no, we can't beat them. Uh -huh. yeah. That's called fear. Yeah, right on. Yeah. <laughs> they said there's no way we could take them down because they're stronger than us. <laughs> That's called low self esteem. Uh huh. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Even though the Lord said, I am with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still, yeah. I am with you. Thank you, Lord. I am with you. Yes. Mm. So that means you didn't even trust what God said. Come on now. <laughs> Thank you. That means that you didn't believe what he said. Yeah. That you got so fixed yeah. on what you saw uh -huh. because what was in you <laughs> that you couldn't see past. The giants. All right. Amen. 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 Am, 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 am I boring y'all? No, I'm sorry the Lord didn't give me a hooping message this morning. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I'll hoop another day. Okay. Now I'm here to tell you, RCC, that there are some contaminants in our system. Yeah. There are some contaminants in our system uh -huh. that makes our vision blurry. God has made some promises to us. Yeah. At the beginning of the year, I heard all kind of prophetic flow where the man of God was saying, this is going to be your best year, and yeah. God going to increase you this year, and uh oh you're going in places you never, I've heard it. Yeah. So I know that God has made everybody in the room some promises. Yeah. But the contaminants, mm -hmm. the foreign bodies yes. that are in us will cause our vision to blur yeah. so that we can't see the promise that God has given us. Yeah. But instead we see the illusion that the foreign body has presented right. for us. You notice I said illusion. Uh-huh. Because your vision gets blurry yeah. when you have foreign bodies in your right. heart. Y'all still don't seem like you're rolling with me, okay? Let me just uh, let me just let me just put this another way. God promised you that you were gonna be a pastor. All right. But you got contaminants because you already think you are a pastor. All right. So you're not submitting yourself. That is pride. That is arrogance. Yeah. That is disorder. That's a contaminant. Mm. And so because you can't focus on what God promised you, but instead you see yourself, mm. okay. you can't walk into your promise land. Yeah. <laughs> God has promised, God has promised some of us that we're going to have this wonderful job where we're going to be the supervisor and we're going to be taking care of folks uh -huh. and regulating folks, but instead, come on now. He makes you yeah. a clerk. Mm. And you start to murmur and complain. Yeah. And murmur and complain. This is not what I signed up for. I got more qualifications than this. Come on now. I make more than $10 an hour. Yeah. I don't know why God tripping, why uh -huh. he put me here. You can you can you can you we got uh -huh. that's called a foreign body. Right. Yeah. Right. Murmuring and complaining. All right. There are some of us that he said, you know what, I'm gonna bless your marriage. Uh-huh. But instead of your marriage, all you got was trouble. Mm. It seemed like the husband started cheating more. As uh -huh. soon as God said he was going to bless you. Come on now. It know. seemed like he didn't treat you right more mm -hmm. after God said he was going to bless you. Yeah. And you so busy looking uh -huh. at the illusion from the foreign body that you forget about the promise. Uh -huh. My Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I'm here to encourage us today yes. to not let the foreign bodies oh, no. prevent us from getting what God wants us yes. to have. Yes. 
Because it makes a difference about how we see things. Yeah. Don't let the foreign bodies rob you yeah. of what God has for you. Let me tell you something. The children of Israel, those ten spies, they robbed themselves out of a promise. Yeah. God was so angry with them for the report they brought back. Yeah. He said, you'll never enter into the promise. Yeah. I'm going to let you wander around here until you die off. Uh. Except for the two that brought back the good report. Yeah. See, there was two. They didn't have an eye infection. All right. The two said, you know what? God, we can take them. Yeah. We can take them. Yeah. It's ours to have. Yeah. God. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, those two, uh -huh. they're going to enter in. All but right. the rest of you shall not. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you, Lord. All I'm saying, RCC, uh -huh. don't let your contaminants Rob you of your promise. Yeah. Whatever God said He was gonna do, He's gonna do. Whatever He said He was gonna perform, He's gonna perform. Yes. Yeah. God is a big God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just because it don't look like what it's supposed to look like in your mind, don't mean that God ain't working on your case. Yeah. Don't mean that He ain't got a strategy and a plan. Yeah. Don't mean that He ain't worried about you. Now listen, I told you I ain't going to be long. I'm going to give you the little bit God gave me and I'm going to get out of the way. Right. Now, here's something that really stood out to me about an infection. An infection keeps you in darkness. Yes, it mm -hmm. does. Foreign bodies keep you in darkness. So if you got low self-esteem or murmuring and complaining or low confidence mm -hmm. or jealousy or yeah, envy. Yeah, yeah. These contaminants will keep you in a dark place. Yeah. And not only does it keep you in a dark place, yes, uh -huh. but it prevents you from seeing the light. Yeah. Your dark place yeah. will prevent you from seeing the light. Yeah. See, if I get jealous of how my husband preach, and I feel like he preached so much better than me, yeah. and he got so much more anointing than All me, right. I am in a dark place. Yeah. And because I'm in a dark place, I can't see Jesus. Yes, I can't see that Jesus blessed me just like he blessed yeah. me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, y'all ain't got the same man. I ain't man okay. myself. All right. All right. I am not so good and so great yeah. that I will not admit there are times I've had jealousy, times I've been envious, yeah. times I felt like somebody should have got wiped out yeah. because they did something to me. And instead of wiping them out, God just changed them. All right. That ain't what I wanted. I want you to ride over them on the bus. That's, that's what I wanted, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, but it's the light. Yeah. It is the light that breaks yokes. It is the light that brings deliverance. Yeah. It is the light. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. It is the light that gives victory. It is the light that gives success. If you can't see the light, how are you going to succeed? Yes, uh. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If you cannot see the light, oh, how are you going to succeed? If you are not seeing the light and you have contaminants in you, it means that you have got comfortable with the abnormal in your life. Because God did not create you to not have joy. God did not create you to not have peace. God did not create you to be a power. God did not create you not to have knowledge and wisdom. God did not create you that way. So you have got comfortable yeah. in the abnormal. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 
Hallelujah. I'm closing. Watch this. I'm so glad, Bishop, that over 2,000 years ago, my antidote came walking down through the air. From glory, he put on a man suit, you know what I'm saying? Walked down 42 generations and came and looked at a little old girl that was infected with contaminants, who couldn't see the light, who was living in darkness. Everywhere I turned, nothing but darkness. My mama tried to help me and she couldn't give me the doctor.
anniversary. Amen. The date will be forthcoming. Amen. Amen. And that is all of our announcements as of this time. All further announcements will be coming from our pastor. Amen. Amen. I have an announcement. Amen. Amen. Be praying for us. We'll be ministering this evening oh, wow. at 5 o'clock at the Greater Rock of Ages Baptist Church 10117 South San Pedro, amen, ministering there for the ending of a conference. All right. Amen. So be praying for us that the Lord will give us a little voice <clears throat> to uh, do what the Lord has given. Amen. But if they keep on, if they mess with me, Ella Hayward, I may just have to talk about these eyes. Right? <laughs> oh, oh. That, that was like part one appetite. All right. All right. <laughs> I preached a message some years ago about let the us eye and your eye die. Oh. And sometime in the subtopic was the man in the mirror. Oh. Wow. 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 Yeah. Praise the Lord. I feel something special. Are we still out here? Okay, I want to tell y'all something. 
So I'm going to say it in cryptic. Okay, he's going to turn the camera off because I'm going to tell it. I, I am. I'm going to tell. I, I really am going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. Uh -uh. Ooh, I'm going to tell. If you don't want the pastor to know, you better turn that camera off. Uh -oh. One more to turn off. Uh-oh. <laughs> But I, I am thankful to the Lord. I really am because I understand that God does not have to choose me. And he does not have to allow me to give a word from him. It is a special honor when God will allow his words to pass through my